Fentanyl to kill every person in Pinellas County is off the streets tonight, thanks to a massive drug bust from the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy is following this story for us and joins us live from the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. And Kaylee, what can you tell us about this operation? Well, detectives busted this drug ring that had been operating since at least January of this year, arresting everyone on their list, including a man responsible for a car crash that catapulted a car into a home in a neighborhood in St. Pete yesterday. Those three kilos yesterday could have killed every man, woman, and child in Pinellas County and time and a half. Detectives seized six and a half pounds of fentanyl, 26 and a half pounds of cocaine, guns, other drugs, and a couple hundred thousand dollars in cash, searching seven locations in St. Pete Tuesday. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri says the drugs came across the Mexican border. Think about that pound of sugar that's sitting in your kitchen pantry, and this is 33 of those one pound bags, but this is poison that kills people. This isn't sugar. We got a problem and people are dying from it and dying from it at the hands of these people that are out there peddling this poison. It was all part of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office's Operation Dirty Inc. and included 24 arrests. And many of the people detectives arrested have extensive criminal histories. These people who are constant recidivists are a big problem. The system is not working in that regard. One of those people is Desmond Hargrove. Detectives hope to serve a search warrant at Hargrove's business off of Gandy Boulevard early yesterday morning, but he left unexpectedly. They tried to stop his car and Hargrove sped away, going about 100 miles per hour, Sheriff Gualtieri says, before crashing into a parked car, catapulting it into a five-year-old's bedroom. He, he, okay, not us, but Hargrove is the one that put people in, in harm's way. He's the one that caused that by fleeing from the cops. And we took great steps to avoid that uh, yesterday. We had great success in the safety of this operation. But sometimes stupid people do stupid things, and he's a stupid person who did stupid stuff. Hargrove was the only one injured in that crash. Goltieri says detectives used court-ordered wiretaps and electronic surveillance for the past two months to bust the drug ring. This investigation used money from the state assistance for fentanyl eradication grant from the, again, that state level. That helps law enforcement agencies across Florida pay for drug trafficking operations like this one. FDLE stood up there with the sheriff today saying that grant is extremely important. As we saw today, just yesterday, they got all of those drugs, guns, and money off the streets. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Kaylee Tracy, Life Force in Pinellas County. Thank you, Kaylee.